All right, what's good? What's good? It's the one and the only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. We got Caleb playing in the news, man. Basically saying, do not be surprised if he get a stoppage over David Benavidez. Now, this is a fight that was brewing long in the making, bro, because both fighters have somewhat of a, of a beef with each other, man, that starts back like to 2017, man, when these fighters um, came, to, came to blows. Actually, they, they're not literally, you know, it's rare that to uh well david benavidez did but caleb plant came to blows with david benavidez team david benavidez team came to blows with caleb plant's trainer uh coach justin that was crazy man the videos on youtube y'all should check that out man um caleb plant basically stated in an interview with fight hub shout out to fight hub tv uh, basically saying hey you know uh don't be surprised if i stopped him take a listen opinion because uh you stopped Darrell. do you see yourself stopping david uh, don't be surprised. Yeah. Don't be surprised. Yeah. If Ronald Gavril can drop him, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but we'll get all that worked out soon. Now, I'm loving this energy by both guys, man. I'm, I'm loving this energy with Caleb Plant, man. It seemed like at one point nobody really wanted to step in the ring with David Benavides. Um, as evident, Mike Tyson calling him the Mexican monster, man. It just seemed like he couldn't get none of the top guys. Canelo didn't want to be step in there with him. Uh, he was calling for Canelo. He was calling for Caleb Plant. He was calling for Charlo. And Caleb Plant, after the fight with, with uh, Anthony Durrell, seemed like, man, that's all he needed, bro. He's ready for a fight with Caleb, uh, with, with um, David Benavidez. Now, David Benavidez team, they're definitely on board. The fight has been signed. The contract has been signed. Uh, the fight is official. They're looking to do it in May. They're just looking for where the event, where the event is going to take place at. But David Benavidez team is worried that Caleb is going to pull out of the fight. They think that he has doubts. Um, they said Caleb brought a lot of demands to this. And for y'all that want to know a little bit of what goes on in negotiations, what stop fights, what causes people to, to get on their quote unquote diva demands, uh, take a listen to what Jose Benavidez Sr. had to say. Again, shout out to Fight Hub TV. Take a listen. He's just trying to find a way out, you know, because at first, first of all, you know, he has to wear uh, rival gloves in order for him to make the fight. A 22 uh, foot uh, boxing ring. Uh, he wanted the blue corner. He wanted to be announced last. He wanted to uh, come out last uh, like a champion. And we gave him all that, you know. Uh, so I think if I would have said, hey, no blue corner, he wouldn't fight. I mean, is that really, you know, uh, something that um, he wants to do? I think, like I said, you know, he's just uh, trying to find a way. He felt pressure and he, uh, they made him take this fight because, you know, at, at the end of the day, you have to fight the best, you know. And I think uh, uh, in reality, I don't think he wanted to take that fight. But I'm hoping, I, I'm hoping that he makes it to the fight with no excuses. So up there you have it, man. That's just, you know, just to give you a little insight of what some of the guys or what some of these boxers and their team um, negotiate about, man. Now, I'm not one to say that Caleb Plant would have, you know, caused a halt to the fight because of any of those reasons, like, you know, like him coming out in the blue corner. Uh, I don't, you know, him, him being announced second. You know, that has caused, you know, a real fast. That, that, that's more of a um, an ego thing. Um with fighters wanting to be, you know, um, use certain gloves, you know, maybe that could have caused something. I don't know why they, um, you know, why the, them both using rival had, you know, anything to do with it. But whatever, man, the fight is here. David uh, Benavidez seemed to agree with everything, so the fight is on board. Now, um, the fight itself, man, listen. I have, I think boxing owes us this, man. I think this is a very good fight, a, 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 a tale of two different styles. Uh, we have David Benavides, who's more of a come forward combination puncher. Uh, he has very fast hands. You know, David Benavides, he's, he doesn't look the most athletic, but he definitely makes up for it with it, with punching power and good speed, bro. David Benavides, and he throws combinations like fast. All his punches are fast, man. I really do like David Benavides. You have Caleb Plant, the slickster. Um, man, great, great uh, ring generalship, great movement, great legs. Um, you know, great timing and, and and as well man you know a lot of people thought that Caleb Plant didn't have a uh, knockout power um, and and he definitely shut that up in his last fight last fight it was his, was his first fight with his new trainer Brad man from Philadelphia um and and he he knocked out um Anthony Durrell cold I mean it wasn't it wasn't a TK it was a knockout put him to sleep 
Uh, so that was definitely, uh, definitely, definitely mind blowing to see Caleb Plant get that knockout. So Caleb Plant is basically saying, like, don't be surprised if I stopped him. Now, um, I'm not gonna put a p prediction on uh, this video, but I am gonna say that, man, this is a fight that we definitely are owed. We couldn't get Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Uh, it looks like we're gonna finally get Ryan Garcia versus Tank, which is a great thing. So, 2023, man, I'm not gonna speak on, on it yet, but, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully, it shapes up to be what it's looking to be, okay? So, I mean, listen, bottom line, I, whether you think, you know, you gotta, you just gotta give it up for each fighter, bro. I'm super excited, man. Both of these fighters wanted the wanted to fight each other, and we're getting it. You know, uh, it would have been great to get it when they were both champions, but I'm not gonna complain about getting it now because they're both still in their prime. And so, you know, the winner moves on. The loser still has a chance to make a comeback in boxing. It's not too late for either one of them. Like, comment, subscribe. What do you think? Who do you think wins this fight? What do you think happens? But what do I know?